I am so excited to show you guys the difference between the one inch curling iron versus the one inch curling wand. So pretty much on one side of my head, I'm going to be doing the one inch curling iron. And on the other side of my head, I'm going to be doing the one inch curling wand. So if you want to see the difference between these two curls, keep on watching. Turn on both curling irons to full blast. Unfortunately, the bed head has one temperature setting. I use two thermal products to prep my hair. I put the Chi Argan Oil onto my hair first, then spray the Paul Mitchell all over. Use a brush to distribute the products evenly. Thereafter, I section off my hair. I'm going to demonstrate how not to curl your hair. You don't want to place the curling iron on the ends of your hair strand, then wrap your hair around the iron. It will cause more damage to that one part of your hair strand because the heat is on that one piece of hair strand for an extensive amount of time. I'm not going to curl the bottom section of my head because the top layers will cover this section. To curl your hair correctly, you want to place the curling iron around four to five inches down the hair strand, rotate the curling up the hair strand, pull for a few seconds, and click the handle as you work your way down the hair strand. Then hold for a few seconds. I grab approximately one inch section while I curl my hair and I curl away from my face. I'm going to finish curling this side of my head with the one inch curling iron so you can see what it looks like. Don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed to my channel just quite yet, click the subscribe button down below. Here's what it looks like without separating it. Now I'm going to show you what the one inch curling wand looks like. I quickly put on my nifty gloves. You want to place the wand as close to your scalp, then wrap your hair around the wand. There's two ways of wrapping your hair around the wand. The first way is keeping your hair strand flat while wrapping your hair around the wand. Meaning, make sure the hair strand doesn't twist while wrapping it. The second way is holding your hair strand and wrapping your hair around the wand. And your hair will naturally twist while wrapping it. This is actually the easiest way to curl your hair with the wand. I'm going to finish curling the rest of my left side. Here's what it looks like fresh off the wand. The curls on the left side looks like the curl starts a little bit higher up on the hair strand versus the right side. I do a quick 360 so you can see what it looks like. Whoops, I missed a hair strand on the back of my head but that would blend after I start separating my curls. I'm going to start separating my right side since it's already cooled down. Next, I'm going to start separating my left side so you can see what it looks like. I finish off with the bio silk to add some shine. Then I follow up with the cheese spray wax to define the curls. Here's what it looks like with product. The curls on my right side look softer and defined and the curls on my left side looks more sporadic, messy and kind of like a beach wavy curls. I like both curls because it's two different looks but you guys can decide which one you like best. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to have fun. Be creative and I see you next week.